is doing in your face. So we have three branches and they um, give you the feeling in your skin. So the first branch does this part here and the second this part. look like 
next to the ears. I don't have dry hands so it doesn't sound as good but you would make sounds like this. And if it's quiet on one side then the cochlear nerve, the vestibular cochlear nerve is damaged. And I was so amazed when I heard that because that is such an ASMR thing to do and I can't believe that it's an actual medical practice so please tell me if it's the same Oh yeah, it's on this side first. Okay, on that side. Good. Someone, like we were, asked to piece this together ourselves. So for the vestibular cochlear nerve, someone proposed whispering. Someone said to whisper into the patient's ear. said that obviously you don't want to get too close to the patient. So this is what we do. Okay. Then the ninth and the tenth nerve can be tested together. Oh, and this is what I was talking about. The tenth nerve is the vagus nerve. And this one is actually responsible for your organs up to your colon. So this one, uh, well, it's in a Viren in Deutsch, I don't know the word in English, but this one is the nerve for your lungs, for your stomach, for your liver, for your kidneys, um, yeah, for your, like the colon, obviously I said that, but also the small intestine, I'm so good at English. the reflex. 
next to spit it out. I didn't talk about that in too much detail. Alright, then the eleventh one is the... Oh wait, I didn't say how to test this one. Okay, so please open your mouth and say ah. Okay, if this nerve was damaged one side of your mouth, so you have like your mouth on the inside looks like this and if one side was damaged it would look like this on the healthy side and like this on the damaged one so it's called it's called coulissen phenomenon or curtain phenomena <laughs> because one side would do this like a closed curtain So... Well. 